enjoy coming on the show. Uh, well, the the cesspool uh, there in the government is is deep, isn't it? I mean, uh, the tentacles of the federal government reaching out to state governments and local governments through grants and uh, all kinds of strings. And, um, you know, uh, when you want to find out how free you are, just exercise a little bit of your freedom. Well said. Where should we start? Recapping what happened to you or just the huge modern open persecution. I mean, they admit Obama has prosecuted more journalists, more whistleblowers than all presidents combined. I mean, it is a reign of terror on the press. Well, I think you make a, we make a lot of good points, Alex, but one of the ones you make is that, you know, it, it's not a good idea to be a jellyfish uh, to, uh, as you said, when you first found out about this extra scrutiny that you might be facing, you do go through a little period of uh, you know, oh, woe is me. Uh, but maybe that's kind of natural because I've gone through that too. But it doesn't take long, especially if you're you're a praying man or woman, uh, to just ask God for strength, and boom, there it is. And then you're you're ready for battle again. So, um, you know, I, I would encourage you, as somebody who's who's been through this and could could go through it again. Uh, you know, you're you're in good shape. Um, you've got. You know, ten, it's been 10 years. It was 10 years in June that I was uh, prosecuted, as you mentioned, um, for three, uh, well, four felonies, one of which was conspiracy to defraud the United States of America. And, uh, you know, and you also mentioned the jury. You know, I still keep in touch with one of the jurors. And, you know, the, the, the stuff he puts in his emails to me about there was no evidence. This is crazy that they put you through this. They put your family through this. Um, and, you know, so that that's happening to you, too. I mean, this doesn't just happen to you. It happens to your family. Um, but again, the thing that's been that served me the best uh, is, is prayer and recognizing that God knows what's going on. Uh, he knows that there's evil in the world and uh, he expects us good people to speak up in defense of others and in, de in defense of good uh, to be good examples. So um, the the I'm always astounded at how deep the, the corruption is, um, you know, in the government. And uh, there's people that say, well, then we just need to do away with government completely. I, I've never bought into that. Uh, we need to do away with the people that are corrupting our government. And I do believe that the system that was set in place uh, by the Constitution, uh, you know, is flawed as many any man-made system can be flawed. Um, but it, it's really taken a tailspin, especially over the last 50 years. Well, and if we, we can't just... fix the corruption, no new system's going to work either. And this has been a takeover. And you're absolutely right. When I said going to break... Hey, you know, God's more powerful than these people. My statement was not arrogant. Hey, God's on my side. My statement was these people think they're God. They're not. And, and tyrants are never invincible. And look how unpopular the federal government is. Look how the truth's coming out about it. Look how Boehner had to step down. These people need to stop being so cocky and look at how reprobate and evil this system's become. Right. And as you often refer to yourself, I think quite correctly, uh, being the tip of the spear, uh, you know, when you're the tip of the spear, uh, you know, they, you tend to you're going to meet uh, somebody else's shield or, or another spear pointed at you. And so uh, you just have to be prepared, as I know you are. But as I say, it was it's been 10 years that was in 10 years in June that I was prosecuted and acquitted, uh, rightfully so. Um, but even then, I, you know, my defense effort at that time in ten, uh, dollars 10 years ago was about two hundred twenty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars $250,000. And it was through the donations of, you know, thousands of Americans, some giving five bucks, some giving 500 bucks. And uh, I basically had to give up seven months of, of my time preparing for trial because, uh, you know, you don't want to over-prepare. You'd rather over-prepare for a test than under-prepare. Um, but, you know, with yourself uh, and, and the, the following that you have, uh, good people out there, uh, you can see how much support you get when you're not getting attacked, at least not publicly. Uh, but if they come after you, Alex, uh, you know, we're all going to be ready uh, right behind that. Well, God bless you. I appreciate it, brother. That's why they do come after us. It's going to be really cooked up, I've been told, because they're not going to want to miss. But it just shows how... The government before wouldn't publicly arm Al Qaeda and ISIS in, in, in the Middle East. They're just doing it. They, they just they wouldn't be publicly persecuting people with the IRS. I mean, MSNBC says it's good to do that. They just are so delusional. They think they can. They're like Hitler invading the Soviet Union. They're just crazy. Stay there, Joe. 
I was looking at some of the headlines on Infowars.com. They're just so crazy. But the good news is, it's it's just it's not me saying our government's funding Al Qaeda. Now it's top generals. It's not Infowars saying fluoride causes brain cancer and bone cancer. It's Harvard. It's just all coming out. It's amazing. I was looking at Drudge Report after I looked at Infowars. DrudgeReport.com. Feds develop an app to predict psychological status of Americans. Look at that. And then they put in the data to claim, you know, you're mentally ill or anti-government. How government is trying to control what you think. The Washington Post. See, they've gone from denying it to, oh, the CIA is involved domestically, involved in propaganda to control you and your family. Oh, migrant mayhem. Germany is in state of siege. Gangs of men roaming the streets, raping women, and if you criticize it, you're arrested. I mean, it's just leftist insanity. Video shows vicious attack on 83-year-old man in parking lot. I mean, it just goes on and on. And then we've got the super blood moon tonight, I guess the fifth or sixth record amount of these solar eclipses. I don't get into all that. But I am going to go to a friend's place and, and, and barbecue tonight, and I'm going to do a Facebook mentions, uh, probably 30-minute program. Once the blood moon gets kicking, like 8.15 to 9.45, it goes full blood moon and 9.45. Everybody thinks it's the end of the world and all this stuff. I don't think that. But there are a lot of real global crises going on right now, and the elite do believe in this kind of stuff, so who knows what they'll pull. We're going to be covering that tonight at the Alexander Emmerich Jones Facebook. Okay, Joe Bannister, I didn't talk to you before you came on the show. Uh, I know you've got uh, Freedom Above Fortune, the book. I want to talk about uh, one of your newer websites that's really excellent. We'll put it on screen. Uh, that's Agent for Truth. Um, again, Agent for Truth, and you can give us the full URL if folks want to visit that. Uh, but, uh, Joe... I could sit here and ask the questions, but when people go to agentfortruth.com, they can see all the research, all the backup data about the Federal Reserve, about the IRS. Instead of me asking the questions, what do you want to impart to viewers and listeners right now about the state of the world as we try to focus in on this incredible persecution? I see the persecution intensifying because the system knows it's discredited, it's uh, has low approval ratings, it's in trouble. There are good people throughout government and corporations and private life who are telling the truth. They've got to be really scared right now. Oh, they are, Alex. And uh, as unpleasant as being attacked is and uh, as unpleasant as the period when you're defending yourself is, uh, it, it definitely provides you an opportunity um, to shed the light, to, to, to sh show the light on, on the corruption and what's really going on. So uh, getting through the, uh, the persecution uh, and seeing the other side, uh, it, it helps then to see, look back and think, wow, you know, if they hadn't attacked me in that way or that way, uh, we wouldn't have been able to, to put out this piece of information or, or that piece of information. And so it, it, they have to come out of the shadows uh, in order to, to come after us for different people. And so it really is important for every single listener out there uh, that you can make a big difference uh, just by spreading the word to others, just by being an informed uh, person as, as informed as possible. And of course, being a good example, because the more uh, even keeled that you are, the more calm that you are, uh, the more believable you are, and that people will at least check out what you have to say rather than just dismissing outright. In your gut, uh, where do you see the balance of evil versus good right now, and what's your gut tell you is coming in the future? Well, of course, uh, you know, being a, a I'm actually a Catholic. I don't know if I, you, you probably were aware of that. Sure, I'm aware so, of that. Uh, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I share a lot of your concerns about what we see uh, leadership, whether it be in the church or at the UN or in our own government. Um, in fact, some of my relatives would always say, you know, why do you bother? You know, there's so much evil out there. You're never going to prune it back enough. Uh, but of course, that that uh, falls on deaf ears when, for people like you and me, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, 
but but I am really concerned, and I, I just think all we can do is is expose uh, what's going on for for everyone to take a look. Uh, obviously, evil and corrupt people like to operate in the shadows. So, the more light that you can shine on what's going on, uh, you know, as far as the income tax issue itself, I mean, there are so many. Uh, avenues with which the government is is cheating us and and depriving us of our rights. Uh, I'm almost um, I feel bad about you know trying to just hone in on the income tax because everything is is interrelated. Um, but I would encourage people if go to agentfortruth.com. There's a section called Learn More, and I try to lay out uh, a, a way that people can educate themselves. Uh, for free, you know, just to kind of get an, an idea of what's going on. And then also how the income tax does intertwine with the monetary system and the other corruption. And as you pointed out with Lois Lerner and all of these uh, congressional hearings. Uh, the it's even come out, I mean, just to throw this in, that they admit they targeted libertarians and conservatives and Christians. They admit they don't issue 501c3s to conservatives. It's total discrimination. It's total evil. And then MSNBC, I don't know if you've seen these clips, we've played them, gets up and goes, yeah, you're evil. You're the Tea Party. Of course we're going to arrest you. It's just weird to see all these weak little socialist cheerleading like it's fun to arrest everybody they don't agree with. They're just such creeps. Well, that's one of the sad aspects of the, of an income tax, right? Whoever's in the whatever administration is in power, you can go after your enemies, and it works either way, right? Republican Richard Nixon or Democrat Bill Clinton or Barack Obama. Uh, that system is just waiting for them to take the reins of power and then uh, throttle their enemies. And notice, I, I, maybe I missed it, Alex, but it has a single head rolled no. in the IRS. <laughs> And I mean, when you when the lawmakers and the bureaucrats see that even this level of despicable conduct doesn't merit uh, losing your retirement or losing your job, all they do is reshuffle the deck and and promote people and and bribe them with more money, a better better position, and no heads roll. So the next cadre of evil and corrupt bureaucrats and officials are going to take an even greater step. And that's why we, the, the people, need to get out and take an even greater step of sure. exposing them and waking up more Americans to do something. Agentfortruth.com, Joe Bannister, a true American hero, uh, is our guest. Joe, we're going to go to break here in a moment. I'll come back and give you the floor to talk about solutions, what you'd replace the income tax with, uh, where you see all this going, other things people can do. Uh, I know a lot of the feds used to work with didn't believe you 15 years ago. Now they call you up and apologize. You can probably, uh, you know, recap some of that. It's important for folks to know not everybody in the government is bad. They're just compartmentalized. But before we go to break in the next minute and a half, um, I just wonder if people realize that that, that America isn't just an island in the world, that there's all sorts of other problems around the planet, and that this is all part of a larger global degeneration that I see happening. I couldn't agree more. And of course, looking at other countries and other areas of the world, we can see our future, right? Because there's other countries and other places where the evil and corrupt um, officials can uh, implement their their evil deeds quicker and, and more rapidly because the, the people may be more uh, prone to giving in, uh, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, Americans are generally, uh, you know, they're going to go down fighting. And so we're going to, we'll probably be the last to, to where they really throttle us. Uh, so take a look around, everybody. Look around at what's happening in these other countries with these uh, migrant invasions and, uh, and the way that the government's even more corrupt. They outlaw simply defending yourself in your own home uh, as they do in Europe. Uh, look at what's going to be coming here uh, very soon to a neighborhood near you. Well said. We'll talk about solutions with Joe Bannister straight ahead. Agentfortruth.com. I'm Alex Jones of Infowars.com. The globalists don't want prosperity. They want control. They want to run the whole show. They crave it. And we've just got to stand up against them and they will fall. Look, Boehner just had to resign. Hillary's in deep trouble. They're not invincible, folks. You know, I look at headlines out of the London Telegraph. We wrote a story about it at Infowars.com where they had a free speech event because Brits are worried, UK citizens are worried about losing free speech. 
where they dressed up little dolls as ISIS fighters and just showed them coming over a green grass hill to other little little bunny rabbits having a tea party, having a picnic, and there's no violence, but that's banned by the police. No free speech. You cannot make this up. And in Germany, 